Hi friends, this is Sandra Golkowski of Life Pushing 80, cause that's what I'm doing, Pushing 80. And this is part three of my paintings that I'm donating uh, in memory of my great granddaughter at uh, Advocate Christ in Oak Lawn, Illinois. And <clears throat> this is the bottom of a painting I did. It's really long. I had to stand on a ladder to paint it. It's in acrylic. Um, these are some skaters with a bonfire. And we're gonna move on down with that, see if I can do this so you can see it. There we go, with the church and the houses and the sky and the stars. It's a hard one to show. <laughs> okay, folks, this one is sold. And And uh, this was a, a class that I did. Um, I, I watched it on YouTube and it was so much fun. You guys might try this. It's just masking tape and you rip the masking tape in half and make it thinner like this or bigger. And it gives it a little roughness to the tree. And um, then after you do, you keep the masking tape on there. You, Put it in different areas and then you paint the whole thing black and then you pull off the masking tape and then you can start painting your shadows and everything so that was a fun class and this um i really enjoyed this one this was uh nancy medina and i see that uh, one of the other ladies took her class too so uh she really teaches you a lot about colors and and so that they're clear and not moody it's got a bumblebee in it, and I like that one. And this, uh, I just made up from a, a flower that I had in my backyard. 2018, this was painted, and this in oils. And this one I just made up, too. Um, it's a little white cottage with hollyhocks. I always like hollyhocks for some reason in painting. Maybe because they're so tall and stately. I like the way they overlap things like the house. Oh, this was painted. Uh, my husband had given me some flowers and uh, I had them on the kitchen table and I just thought it would make a nice little painting. And I did that one day. All right, and this was, I painted, uh, this is with Gary Jenkins. He's, he and his wife have painted for years and I know, I'm sure a lot of you have painted with him. He does a lot of florals and uh, they're just fun to follow along with. And these are some I hope we're getting this. I'll put it a little higher just in case. These are some uh, tulips. And uh, I just made this one up, but I like the contrast with the background, the black background. Okay. And this was another class I took in 2018 with Nancy Medina. And as usual, her colors are just so interesting. You, you really like her. She's got pug dogs. I think she moved to Colorado, her and her husband. Her husband helps her with everything, so they've got a good marriage. This is one I just made up with a, with the bar, uh, turquoise brown or barn wood. I believe that was in oils. <laughs> it's been so long. And this is one I made up too. This is geraniums in a pot. Mm, 2014, okay. That was one I just kind of made up myself too. Oh, and this was... Uh, I remember this took a while to paint. This is with 
Nancy Medina. As I said, I just paint real fast. So some of these the art instructors really help me to slow down a little on stuff. But um, yeah, this is all in oils. But it, I'm going to go a little closer so you can see. Look all the beautiful shades of pastels in 2018. This is just one I made up. It was during my sunflower phase, I guess you would call it. I think I made that up. Gosh, I don't <laughs> I know I made this one up. This is poppies. And this is one I made up. Sunflowers. And this one, the cottage and out in the country. And hollyhocks again that I love, 2018. Oh, and this was uh, when I first moved here in this home, I was surprised to find in the backyard this beautiful clematis growing up and so I took a picture of it and painted it so that when it's not blooming I still have it. And this was way back 2014 Gary Jenkins again. You'll really like taking classes from him. I hope you appreciate this Gary Jenkins. <laughs> Okay. And this again was Gary Jenkins. Lots of fun to do these paintings. It was such a joy to me and so healing. Uh, this again was Nancy Medina. I see I didn't sign this one. And Nancy Medina. I took quite a few of her classes. Nancy's a little more pricey than uh, some of the others, but she's very good. And um, 2014, I found this on the internet and painted it. So it wasn't an original, but I just love, at the time, sunflowers. And this one I just made up in a canning jar, Sunflowers in the Window, 2016. And I didn't get this one framed. This was just painted on a, a board. My husband used to go to Home Depot and cut these out for me and then make frames. It was lilacs in the window with the lace curtains. I'm getting too close because my paintings are getting closer to me. Um, this I made it myself, yeah. Irises, right? Yeah, irises. Oh, this was Gary Jenkins, 2017. A fun painting. They were all fun for me. Nancy Medina, one of her classes. Thank you, Nancy. And this is one I just made up with my hollyhocks. This is at the a window with the lace curtains, hollyhocks. This is in 2018. Oops, running out of room here, guys. All right, here's one I made up, I think. And I say that sometimes I've seen on, on the internet, but 2017, I must have really been into sunflowers here. Uh, this frame was at, a, there was an antique shop in town. And I picked this up there and uh, yeah, on board and painted these geraniums.
This is kind of a crazy wild painting. I was in a, I was in a crazy mood when I did this. <laughs> Sunflowers again, right? This was uh, Nancy Medina with a kitty in it. I hope you're all able to see this. We got the camera a little closer. And over there, honey. And uh, this is, uh, I, I always like this one too. This was fun to do. But uh, this was uh, Gary Jenkins, 2017. And this one, I don't know, I think I just made this up, 2015. I might have just made this one up, guys. I'm sorry. 2018. Oh, this was Gary Jenkins. 2017. I kind of like the way he puts those little sparkles in things. And then in the shadow part, he uses the blues. Gary Jenkins, I believe, 2017. Um, this was just something I made up, 2018. It's just one I made up, 2018. Oils. Most of my paintings are in oils, especially flowers. And this, I was trying to figure out how to do a composition. There's a little ceramic bird, some orange tangerines out of the refrigerator, a little floral pot. Then you pick up the colors from the paintings, kind of splash them in the dark part. 2017. Uh, yeah. This is a very old, <laughs> very old painting. Um, don't even have it signed, but my husband used to fly ultralights. And um, so I painted this picture of him in the ultralight and then the country part down here in the bottom. So I think I'll give this to his son. And this was a Bob Ross we were talking about. Bob Ross painting, but it is moody, you know? I like the moody feeling. And my husband loved this painting, I didn't know why, but he just loved this painting, so I think I'll give this to his son. Okay, ladies, I'm out kind of crowded in here with these paintings. I can't even step back, but uh, I'd like to give you a scripture for today. It's uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Okay, until next time, I'm going to be doing some more. I'll be part three. This is part two? Three? This is part three. Okay, I've got more coming. Okay, guys, love all of you. Take care. Oh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, okay? Because I want to get to the 9,000. I'm getting real close. Bye now.